Hi, my name is John Paul Raj and my mission in life is to make the learning of math fun. So if you're new to this channel, please do consider subscribing. On this video, we're going to talk about how we can use the TN Spy CX2 to compare two different sets of data by stacking box and whisker plots or by stacking histograms. Okay, let's go. I have already entered the data on the list and spreadsheet page. For those of you who don't know how to get to this page, this is the list and spreadsheet page. So from the home screen, you can just hit uh, this icon, which uh, represents the list and spreadsheet page. And uh, once you hit that, it will give you something that looks like an Excel spreadsheet, and then you can enter the data. You gotta be careful how you label the column. Uh, and if you haven't seen my video on uh, list and spreadsheet, I will link that in the description box below. Please take a look at that, all right? So to save time, I've already entered the data. This data is about uh, the average uh, number of hours people spent uh, watching Netflix and uh, uh, Amazon Prime every week. So, you know, person one spends uh, two hours uh, watching Netflix in a week on an average. Uh, and uh, they spend about four hours. The same person spends about four hours watching Netflix, uh, Amazon Prime uh, on the same week. Uh, whereas uh, person two spends three hours on an average uh, in a week uh, watching Netflix and they thought that they spend equal amount of time uh, watching uh, Amazon Prime. So uh, a group of randomly selected uh, 10 individuals, adults actually, were asked this uh, yeah, were asked this question about how much time they uh, spend watching Netflix or Amazon Prime uh, over a week. Uh, and it'll be interesting to study and compare this using, you know, stacked up uh, box and whisker plots uh, and or a histogram. So this video, we are going to see how to do that. Uh, and before we do that, maybe I just want to make a comment that these are two sets of data. Okay. Sometimes we use two different sets of data to see how those two sets of data are related to each other. And this perhaps is not that kind of a question. All right. Because when you go to menu, and you go under statistics uh, and stat calculations, there's something called two variable statistics, okay? And two variable statistics is to be used when you've got two such lists of data, but you're trying to figure out whether those sets of data are related, you're studying correlation, you're trying to find regression, you know, the line of best fit between those two uh, sets of data, but this is not that case. This is, we've got two different sets of data and we are still running one variable statistics on those two different sets of data and then using that outcome to compare, okay? So we're using one variable statistics. And this time, the number of lists that we have to enter is two because we've got two different sets of data. You could have had three different sets of data or maybe four different sets of data and had different box and whisker plots to compare those results, okay? You're still running one variable statistics, but for different number of lists of data. So this time I'm going to say two because I've got two different sets of data, uh, Netflix and Amazon Prime. I'm going to say, okay. And the X list I'm going to say is uh, Netflix. And uh, the X2 list I'm going to say is Amazon Prime, all right? And the first column results, this is this actually indicates where the results have to be indicated. Uh, we'll start uh, from, you know, uh, displayed from, and then I say C and say, okay. And as you can see that our results are displayed from column C, title is one variable statistics and X bar for both those columns. The first uh, column D and column D, we've got the statistics for Netflix and on column E, on column E, we've got the statistics for Amazon Prime. Uh, the mean number of hours for uh, Netflix happens to be 3.05. Uh, and uh, the mean for mean number of hours for uh, Amazon Prime happens to be 3.3. Uh, so you can look at those kind of uh, statistics and then make your own you know, inferences about which one seems to be more popular or, you know, something like that. Uh, and then when you scroll down, you can do the same thing about... Um, You've got the sample uh, standard deviation, the popular standard uh, population standard deviation. Uh, Ten sets of people were uh, questioned, and the minimum value happens to be two for both of them. Quartiles, lower quartile, and so on and so forth. But using this, let's see how we can make a comparative uh, summary plot. All right. So for that, I'm just going to go this time and enter a data statistics page. Uh, I'm going to go data statistics page. You know, the graphs page is for functions kind of graph. You can do a scatter plot that, but it's to be used for uh, functions and relations and, you know, whatever uh, points of intersection and analysis that you want to do, you do it there. But any graphs that relate to data and statistics, I would say, you know, stick to this uh, app here, data statistics app. So I'm just going to enter page and 
Right now, you can just see a bunch of data just floating around, you know, uh, like that. So what we do is that we come here, and here I'm going to add my variable. It says click to add variable. I'm going to add the variable Netflix first. And when I hit Netflix, you can see all the data points seem to align themselves like an organized um, um, dot plot, okay? And uh, that looks nice, but that's not what we're looking for. We want to see a box and risk plot, right? So we'll go to menu and then we'll say plot type and we'll say we want that box plot. And just like that, we get the box plot for the Netflix. Now we want to do a comparison, right? Uh, this is your uh, Q1, this is your Q2 or the median, this is the Q3, the upper quartile, and that's the uh, maximum value. The minimum value is also the Q1 here, all right? So when you want to compare the two, Netflix and Amazon, by stacking up the two box and whisker plots, what you're going to do is that you're going to go to Menu, uh, Plot Properties, and pick add x variable. And that is the difference between the one variable and the two variable statistics because in the two variable, uh, one set of data would be x and the other set of data would be y. Whereas in this case, the two sets of data or however many sets of data that you're trying to compare, they all still be you know x. So you could add another x and you know if there was a third set of data that would be adding another x variable. So the three different box plots, uh, box and whisker plots would be stacked up one over the other. So you're gonna add an x variable and Amazon Prime is what you're choosing. And there, just like that, you've got your two different box and whisker plots right there for you to compare and you can make your inferences. You can take a screenshot, bring it to your presentation and talk about your inferences just like that. And so in the same way, if you wanted to make a similar comparison using histograms, you can just go to menu and you can change the plot type from uh, box plot to histogram. And then you will see the histogram. They, it's actually supposed to be a histogram. It looks like bars because they're disconnected. Uh, but it's actually a histogram and we'll talk more about histograms and how we can adjust the bin size uh, whether it's of equal or unequal widths in some other video but on this video i just wanted to show how we can use this idea of stacking up histograms and uh, box and whisker plots whether it's two or more sets of data but remember we need to make sure that that's one variable statistics and not two variable statistics so at this point of time i want to give a huge shout out to marie lee she's a fantastic math teacher based out of Synonymous Global Academy in Indonesia, and she helped to clarify uh, this doubt that I had about the one variable statistics and two variable statistics. I'm going to see you all in the next video.